the stock continues to languish down about 2%, uh, 18 bucks lower at 8.63 thereabouts. But lots more earnings and let's start with the Blue Dot management then. It's been a very tempered quarter for them. Largely flattish when it comes to the net sales. The EBITDA is down by about 0.2% and the PAT is lower by one3 Yogesh Dhingra, CFO and CEO at Blue Dart joins us on the show right now. Yogesh, hi, good afternoon, good morning. Uh, a rather subdued quarter really on all fronts. What would you attribute this to? Sorry? I said, what would you attribute this to? Would you say that, uh, you know, there was some restraint when it came to the macroeconomic environment and softening trends perhaps in the e-tail market? I think it's a couple of uh, one, as you rightly mentioned, uh, softening trends in the e-tail uh, sector, e-tail part, you know, is getting more mature. So their focus is more on quality sales rather than just the pure uh, GMV number, which was the case earlier. So certainly, overall numbers of that particular uh, vertical are down. So yes, that uh, was one part. And second was overall economy also, I think, uh, is taking time to move upwards. Though B2B, there was a positive growth. and um, But you know, if one has to look at it overall, I think our profitability as compared to immediate preceding quarter is almost similar. Our margins have improved, and um, even with the lot of abnormal hits like the correction of the Payment of Bonus Act, Swatch Bharat tax, and all that, still I think we have uh, take our margin up as compared to immediate preceding quarter. So that's a good uh, performance, uh, keeping the uh, current uh, situation. Last time when I spoke to you, you said the fastest growing business for you was the entire e-commerce business. Is that, uh, is that still the fastest growing business for you? So, as I said, you know, this particular uh, vertical is passing through uh, some kind of re-engineering exercise on account of a number of reasons. And also they are focusing more on to the bottom line rather than on the top line. So, certainly, even on their side, a uh, number of players have uh, very, uh, you know, in terms of lower uh, volume growth. So, that impacted the overall industry. Uh, if I work with the assumption that GST will soon see light of the day, uh, what will change for Blue Dart in FY17? Uh, it's a very good move for the logistic business, especially for those who are uh, into the express business. You will see a lot of revamp happening in terms of uh, the number of warehouses. So you will see that, uh, let's say somebody holding today uh, 30 warehouses, you know, they may go down to six or seven, depending what product they deal in. And certainly they would need players like us to, you know, move faster to the end customer. And also uh, there will be a lot of relief in terms of the check post regulations, you know, in terms of various states. So certainly it is going to reduce even cost as well. So it has a double impact, one that you will get some additional revenue and Certainly, you will have a lower cost in terms of operation. So it's been growing at 35% CAGR, your e-tail segment. What's the pace now, if you could give us a number? Uh, well, you see, that was the overall industry number which we used to talk of. Uh, now, certainly it is depressed and going forward, certainly it will post the maturity and whatever re-engineering happens, it will come back to its uh, old levels. Uh, also, if you could tell me a little bit more about how the rest of the verticals are moving, Express Logics, Logistics, Blue Dart Aviation, etc. How have they performed for you? Uh, Blue Dart Aviation is a, an operating arm for us. Uh, we own 74% there and they have only one customer, which is Blue Dart Express. And their job is primarily to support and provide the entire um, support in terms of aviation network. So yes, certainly they are doing well, um, and that is supporting us to, you know, uh, keep our uh, premium edge in the market. And uh, we recently added uh, another aircraft that was in April uh, this year. And uh, I think what you need to see, even with the addition of an aircraft increasing our cost, we still kept our margins, and you know, profitability is at the same level. So this really shows that, yes, on the operating front, we Blue Dart has done really extremely well. You're upping your stake, right, in Blue Dart Aviation from 74 to now 100? 
there is a plan um, you know as per the fdi regulation now you know 100% is allowed in a cargo uh, business so at an appropriate time yes we would uh, look at that all right uh, again i appreciate your time and glad you could join us that was the Thank management of blue doubt outlining that uh, the quarter gone by margins were okay but it's the e-commerce business the main stay uh, which uh, which in a sense has been one of the key growth areas for blue dart that seems to be slowing down it's natural i'm mean, looking at the way how some of the e-commerce companies are losing money they have to focus on the bottom line so they are also tightening tightening the entire supply chain system but surely will have impact on a company like blue dart it's expensive stock mm. so the scope to get uh, blue dart uh, to scope for them to go wrong i guess is very limited in the short term yeah reliance infra that's the remarkable one today that continues to hold out almost